on peut dire. President, please be seated. The court is back in session and the floor is given to the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia to put question to this witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning again, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. Witness, witness, before the break, we discussed um, how you and the for other group chiefs who were responsible um, for the situation of the 100 individuals from your village uh, in terms of sleeping, in terms of sickness, and etc. Uh, I have one other topic that I would like to ask you some questions about, and that is um, about the food situation of the 100 people coming from your village. Um, were you and your four colleagues also responsible for providing food uh, to the 100 villagers? Answer. In relation to food for laborers or workers, so I may refer them as laborers. The hundred workers that uh, were working in our work site, they received food. I requested uh, food from village. And uh, gave them to workers in my work site. So it was you and, and your four Donc, colleagues who were responsible for the logistics of the food being brought to uh, these uh, hundred individuals working at the dam. Is that correct? Answer yes, that is correct. Um, and could you be a little more specific as to how the process of requesting food went and how the food then subsequently was delivered um, to the group of 100 people? How did that go uh, about in these six months that you were working there? We discussed about food supplies or food before we went to the work site to work. I informed those who were at the rear front, the rear line, that if I requested food supplies for workers at the front line, please deliver them in time and the food supplies would be delivered first thing in the morning and placed in the communal dining hall. Some food supplies were kept in the kitchen and some were kept at the work site. But mostly for supplies, because of uh, their weight, they were put Mais in the kitchen. Du poids, mises and dans the food supplies la would be delivered based on the worker, the numbers of workers at the work site. And uh, the the amount of food supplies uh, would also cover the children, young children who accompanied uh, the workers to the work site as well. Um, I'm talking now about the, the first January dam. How was, you, you were mentioning a kitchen. Uh, was there a kitchen also, a sort of an improvised kitchen? at the dam site where you were working? Was the food brought to an improvised kitchen belonging to uh, the 100 villagers 
l'on um, avait apporté également with. ce qui était nécessaire pour construire une cuisine de fortune afin de nourrir les 100 ouvriers avec lesquels vous travaillez. Answer. When the food supply arrived at our place, we organized the improvised kitchen and four nous organisions People cette were assigned improvisée. to be working in the improvised kitchen. They were also responsible for shouldering uh, or carrying waters, and there was a big pot uh, for cooking soup, one une kettle, pour, uh, one pot for boiling soupe, water. Une casserole pour faire bouillir and, uh, de l'eau, une casserole pour la pots cuisine, were used et collectively. ces casseroles étaient utilisées en commun. So would you be able to tell us, Maître Coco, uh, in general, de façon générale, um, what the hundred people that you were, uh, and the other four group leaders supervising, what they were eating uh, in the morning, during lunch, and, and at dinner? Déjeuner, Roughly, au dîner, um, et le what soir, were these hundred people eating every day? Personnes, que mangeaient-elles chaque jour? Answer. Réponse. In our work sites, during meal time, we had Sur our own. Pendant les repas, Flats or bowls. Nous avions chacun and uh, nos we bowls. were given meals to eat, Et and we, we could have the meal. And if uh, three people si brought uh, three bowls of flats, and then the food. A meal would be supplied and placed into the mat, into the plates or bowls. Alors, there were no proper table uh, to dine, and uh, there was mat. We were sitting on the mat and having a uh, meal. Um, but just to be very clear, you and your four clair, colleagues were responsible for the fact that. The hundred, people's, the hundred people under your supervision du were fed in the morning, during lunch, and at night. Is that correct? Au déjeuner et le soir. Est-ce exact? Then, answer. Réponse. When I was working on the dam, uh, we had no cook rights to eat in the morning. Le barrage, we only, we were only provided with a cook right at lunchtime and in the evening. No cook right in the morning. Mais pas le matin. I understand, um, but in terms of logistics, it was you and your four colleagues who had to make sure that the hundred people under your supervision were having something to eat in the morning, during lunch, and in the evening. Is that correct? Answer. Yes, that is correct. Um, now, was it the intention of you and your four colleagues Question, to make sure that the hundred people under your supervision uh, would get as much food as possible? Maybe not always sufficient, but it was your aim to make sure that they, eat, that they ate well. Is that correct? Answer, yes. Yes, We were trying to provide sufficient food for workers to eat so that they can work. They could work. Now, I have another question about the composition uh, of the group. Um, there is a witness saying that. Um, groups coming from villages sometimes rotated. Did any of those hundred individuals that were working, um, were, were these the same people?
people all six months? Or were you able to change people within your group by other um, villagers? Was that your discretion as well? President, do you have any documents to lay the foundation for this question? If you have any documents uh, to cite from, please uh, give reference your number or so. Um, I'm referring to the witness who is actually coming uh, hereafter. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I follow completely what he said, but I understood that um, there was rotation of groups. So I tried to, on purpose, be a little vague about it. So my question is um, not, a, not so much about um, what other witnesses said, but whether he had any discretion within his group to, to decide to replace somebody within the group. So I withdraw the reference. Um, my question, Mr. Witness, is only were you able, together with your four group leaders, to to rotate people within the group of 100? Or were these 100 people always the same during those six months they worked? Answer. Actually, we rotated our workers. It was just uh, your responsibility, together with the other four group leaders, to make sure that 100 people uh, were working. Is that correct? And it, and it didn't matter which 100 people were working. Would that be a fair summary? We try to have the full uh, uh, composition in our group, that is uh, 20 members in one group. group soit pourvu, que group and if uh, the work uh, was not ordre. so hard, and si we were not striving, striving very much uh, in Et our work, and nous ne nous we would pas trop. remove uh, some uh, workers Alors, from the full composition. Nous réduisions le nombre de travailleurs. Um, so, did it happen that Et donc, cela veut -il dire um, people within the group of 100 were at one point in time in those six months replaced by other people donné, from your village? Dans votre groupe de 100 personnes, certains individus ont été remplacés par d'autres individus venus de votre village? Trop Answer yes, Réponse, oui. it happened. C'est arrivé. Some workers in the work in our work size got tired. Certains travailleurs they requested sur notre site de to return home. Étaient fatigués et ont demandé à Because of this, I, I told people in the rail line to replace those who requested to return home. And, actually, and as a result, we have the replacement. Now, are you able to tell, um, taking into considerations, uh, in consideration these replacements, how many people in total from your village had at one point worked um, at the dam. How many times people were replaced? Do you remember? Du barrage. Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de fois où les gens ont été remplacés? Answer. The replacement replacement was not. Uh, regular Le and uh, pas some régulier. worker were replaced by some new people. Travail ont été Why we par did not replace some workers because uh, they were progressive people, and uh, for those who 
did not achieve uh, the work, then we would uh, replace them and they would uh, return them back to the village to work with uh, the old man making baskets. It does not mean that uh, the people who were replaced and returned back to the village uh, could take rest. Everyone was working on the 1st January dam site. Um, now, Mr. Witness, I've been asking you questions about um, the organization and the functioning of the group of 100 people uh, that you supervise together with your four colleagues. Um, however, we also know that uh, at one point in time, approximately 20,000 people um, were working at the dam, at the dam site. Are you able to make a comparison between how you and your four colleagues supervised your group of 100 villagers to other um, groups of 100 people, for instance, from villages. Can you make any comparison how your colleagues from other villages in sector 42, for instance, uh, did their job? Answer. Allow me to inform you, Council, based on the workforce, uh, the achievement of work was sometime of the same nature. Les résultats étaient parfois de même nature. Uh, and I cannot give you the full Et picture of this. Um, but while working at the dam site, um, were you able to observe uh, working conditions of other groups coming from other villages? In other words, were you able to see how the unit chiefs were dealing with their people and make any comparison how you did it with your colleagues? Menaient leur travail et pouviez-vous établir une comparaison entre cette façon de travailler et la vôtre. Il y avait des différences. And group leaders may have had their different approaches in a working uh, manner and I myself had a, an other or separate distinct approach in a working uh, manner. Um, but in terms of uh, working conditions and food situation, etc., um, were you and your four, your four colleagues um, sort of average supervisors, or you, were you more severe or less severe than other groups that were working uh, adjacent to where you were working? Or is that difficult to say? Answer. When we were striving, striving to work in the work site, we would meet among us to discuss how to achieve a best result. And we would consider the opinion or comments experience made by workers, no matter uh, they were young or old people. Would it be fair to say that um, the individual experience of any worker at the dam was highly dependent on the way 
the supervisor of this person treated this person. Dépend en partie de la façon dont il était traité par son superviseur. Dépend. Oui. Answer. Réponse. Oui. It, you can say like that. It oui, depended on the workers. Cela if a worker agrees si to adopt or follow the instruction of uh, the chief, and then the, we would allow them to do the work. Actually, we uh, had to give uh, value on the, their opinion and ideas so that uh, they could uh, work hard. Um, thank you, um, Mr. Witness. Now, my next question would be, um, if you are able, in, in general terms, to say what the purpose was of building uh, the first January dam. Why did Ankar decide to build the first January dam? De la construction de ce barrage du 1er janvier. Pourquoi l'Ankar avait, avait décidé de construire ce barrage? Answer. I Réponse. do not know. Je n'en sais rien. The reason. J'ignore la raison. In my opinion. À mon avis. Anka built the dam to provide water for farming. Some say that uh, Anka built the dam to make the electricity, to produce the electricity. And uh, I could see that uh, the place was named that it was to be the hydro power dam and I have no idea about the hydro power dam and Mais for me I think uh, the dam was used to provide avis, water for farming. Le barrage était utilisé pour l'irrigation and who would ultimately profit from Copo, et qui a dam that was functioning properly? Who would be the ultimate benefactors bien. of a functioning dam? Un barrage qui fonctionne bien allait-il profiter? The no answer. Réponse. The dam uh, was built for one year. After one year, we could reach a Kampawi site. And after one year, we could uh, have water to farm. I mean, in 1978. And at the present time, the dam uh, uh, was used to provide water for farming, and uh, there was there is huge harvest uh, as a result of farming. And. Was it your understanding that the 100 people Question. that you supervised would at one day also profit from a functioning dam that they had been working at for six months? Pensez-vous également qu'elles allaient bénéficier de ce barrage sur lequel elles avaient travaillé pendant six mois? But answer, yes, that is correct. Oui. At the present time, uh, water from the dam uh, could be can be used to farm. And the ultimate purpose of this dam, providing food for the, for the hundred individuals that you were supervising, among others, was that also a reason? that you were proud Notamment of the work de that you were doing at the 1st January dam. Est-ce également là l'une des raisons pour lesquelles vous étiez fier de travailler au barrage du 1er janvier Bah answer yes oui. there is true. C'est exact. And was it your observation that the 100 individuals that worked at the dam que les 100 personnes um, qui travaillaient sur le barrage would see the potential profits of 
the dam that they had been working on. Voyait toute l'utilité éventuelle du barrage sur lequel ils travaillaient. Également, ces bénéfices hein, qu'ils allaient pouvoir Answer, tirer. Yes. Réponse oui. Nowadays, uh, they benefit from the dam. Du and uh, people who have uh, plots of land in the lower part of the dam, they could uh, benefit from the water du barrage in the dam. And some people could use, uh, can use the water Certaines for their uh, vegetable plantation, and some uh, use the water for farming. Pousser. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. One, one last question in relation, I think, uh, to the dam. Question. Have you ever seen question, le témoin, uh, wedding si ceremonies à une at the dam worksite, where people married le site du uh, in groups que des at the dam site, or did marriages only occur in the respective villages? Que dans les villages respectifs. Answer. In relation to Réponse. marriage, after the construction or the completion of uh, the dam, in the north side, uh, marriage uh, were conducted, but not at the dam site in the village. So, wedding ceremonies or marriages had nothing to do with what happened at the dam site. Is that correct? Answer. While we were building the dam, we were Lorsque focusing on uh, building it. Bâtition ce barrage, nous nous concentrions sur notre tâche. And after the farming uh, season, la saison de la, de la culture, the commune uh, would uh, reserve uh, one day for a marriage, a ceremony. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I have been asking you uh, predominantly questions um, about your capacity as group leader um, in relation to the work um, at the dam. Um, I also have a few additional questions to you in your capacity as chief of your village. Um, because that seemed to be the focus of the questions of the prosecution. Now, so I have no more questions about the dam, but now about things that happened in your village. Um, and let me start by asking you the question, following up what you said yesterday, that at one point in time, in 78, you had to leave your position because, as I understood, Ankar had lost trust in you. Um, would you be able to explain to us what you meant with the words uh, lose trust? Why did Ankar lose trust in you? I have no idea why they lost trust Je ne sais pas pourquoi ils ont perdu me confiance and en why I was removed. Je ne sais pas pourquoi j'ai été retiré. And for those who were removed by Anka, very few of Les them qui survived. De ont été and peu after à my removal, I was never Une reinstated. Fois que été de mes fonctions, je n'ai plus jamais retrouvé ces fonctions. And at that time, the, the liberate, United Liberation Front came à to the country. Le fond de dans le pays. But were you? Disciplined Question. Uh, by Ankar, were you sent to a re education center or were you just um, let go of your function? 
Que s'est-il passé lorsque vous avez été démis de vos fonctions Réponse. Answer. For my removal, I was not sent for any re-education. Je n'ai pas été envoyé en rééducation lorsque j'ai été démis de mes fonctions. I was assigned to farm by using uh, the cattle and cows for plowing. When I was de, uh, the former chief, I was not uh, doing plowing job. I was only supervising people. And after the removal, I was Mais made to be a normal or ordinary worker. Je suis redevenu un ouvrier ordinaire. Now in those Question. three years or so, after 1975, April 75, that you were village chief. Au cours des trois ans qui Did ont you suivi, ever order the arrest of anybody? Avez-vous fait procéder l'arrestation de qui que ce soit? The pro. Answer. Réponse. Counsel, as for the order to arrest. Maître, pour ce qui I est des ordres d'arrestation, je dois dire que je n'ai jamais passé ce genre d'ordre. It was under the responsibility of uh, the security force. C'était les forces de sécurité qui sont chargées. In relation to the arrest, I was supervising people uh, to work in the farm and to secure their well-being. Et je m'occupais de leur bien-être. Did you ever? Question. Ask for instruction to have somebody sent for re-education because he or she committed either minor offenses or serious offenses. Un délit plus ou moins grave. Answer. Réponse. I. Warned my people by myself. I have never sent my workers for re-education, and my fellow colleagues working with me uh, was also involved in advising or warning our people. We uh, were like brothers and sisters. We have never sent uh, our own uh, villagers or people for re-education by others. What if somebody complained to you that he or she was hungry or that somebody had stolen Cassave, for instance, because he or she was hungry. What would you? What did you do in such situations when you were a village chief? Que faisiez-vous dans ce genre de situation lorsque vous étiez chef du village? Bad answer. As as for stealing cassava, uh, I the one who told. Um, villagers to plant cassava so they owe the cassava plants and they could benefit from the cassava fruits. A plot of land with the size of 20 by 30 meters was partly used to grow and plant cassava Était utilisé pour and le the manioc. livestock were raised, chicken and ducks were des raised in bétail, their own plot of land, so they could benefit canards, from uh, the poulets, uh, fruits and livestock. Tout le monde pouvait en profiter. But did anybody ever complain to you Question. that he or she did not Mais have enough food, and then subsequently you sent this person vous, um, for re-education, for instance, et or that never happened? Answer: No, Réponse. not at all. No complaints. Non, pas du tout. No one complained. Personne As I plan. stated earlier, during dit. the meetings uh, to indoctrinate uh, uh, people or to educate people, that what it was said at that time, 
After we returned uh, from work, we would take some time to plant uh, cassava and uh, the plots of the land in my area uh, can could be used and was very fertile for growing uh, cassava, cassava. After six months uh, growing cassava, we could uh, have the fruits. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, in those three years that you were village chief, have you ever been in, have you ever been in the inside compounds the inside buildings of a security center or of a re-education center? Have you ever been inside one of those institutions? No, I never entered the, the compound. No, I never entered the compound. I think I know the answer, but I'm asking you anyway. Question. Have you ever witnessed réponse, any execution question. of people in the time that you were village si chief? Des de au où vous étiez chef du I never witnessed such an réponse. execution. Je n'ai jamais assisté à ce genre d'exécution. I said, I was easily dit, frightened. J'avais facilement peur. And it would not uh, be good to witness any horrible situation. Je n'aurais vraiment pas aimé être témoin d'une situation aussi horrible. Um, no, yesterday, Mr. Witness, you were asked questions Question. about eight families Hier, Monsieur le témoin, on vous a posé des questions uh, par rapport à huit familles qui vivaient dans votre village. village and who were, um, you said, I think, relocated to another village. Um, would it be possible that these eight families were sent to a re-education center? President, uh, witness, uh, please wait, and the international co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Your Honor, I'm intervening just to make the record uh, clear. I, my recollection is 15 families were identified. The witness hid eight families, and seven families were taken away. So it's important whether we're talking about the eight families that were hidden by the witness or the seven that were taken away. I agree with, uh, with, the, prosecutor, with the prosecutor, Mr. President. Um, would it be possible, Mr. Witness, that the seven families uh, that were relocated in your words um, were sent to a re-education center? Réinstallées ailleurs. Ont-elles pu être envoyées dans un centre de rééducation ou pas? Witness. Le témoin. At that time, I was working at uh, the uh, Cham village. Je travaillais dans le village Cham. People were tracked uh, to a another location, probably to a rubber plantation, ailleurs, although I myself was not sure. BBA, pas and some other people said that they were tracked out uh, to a, another location, and that was the ailleurs. security matter. Une question which de I did not know, and I myself was busy doing the rice transplantation at the Cham village. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness, and then my last question would be Maître to Gobé, you. Beaucoup, is it fair témoin? to say that you have no knowledge whatsoever what the destiny was about de the, the destiny of these seven families that familles. you do not know for sure? President, uh, 
Council, please refresh Maitre, your question. And it seems that it was a leading question, and maybe the witness did not get your question uh, fully. And please try to avoid any leading question. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if I asked the leading question, but I will, I will do my best to avoid that. Mr. Mr. Witness, is it true that you have no Monsieur knowledge of the fate que of these seven families? De ce qu est à ces sept families? <coughs> I have already made my point. On that day, I was working at the rice field far from the village. It was about seven kilometers away from the village. And on that day, a truck was brought in to transport those people out. I did not know whether they were taken to Sri Lanka or to rubber plantation. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness, for your answers. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci pour vos réponses. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. President, uh, the Chamber would le like to hand the floor now to Kyus and Pons' defense. You may proceed, Counsel. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Good Je morning, um, witness. My name Antagisse. is Antagisse. I am uh, the um, co-counsel uh, co for Monsieur Kyo Sampan. And I will um, also vous poser des questions to put questions to you so que vous avez that indiqué, you can entre hier et specify, uh, provide um, clarification about what you were talking pour, about yesterday and today. Continuer sur des now, questions de mon confrère, picking up on questions put to you by my colleague, au sujet du but with, du barrage, uh, regard to the hier, Objective of uh, the dam. Vous avez Yesterday, évoqué you spoke about, uh, une réunion a à laquelle uh, vous avez participé, which, uh, you et c'était uh, vers uh, 13h46, This was at around, uh, uh, en expliquant que des gens uh, and you said that de la commune étaient venus from the commune had um, come pour vous expliquer to explain to uh, you ce qu'il y avait trait uh, à ce barrage, et vous dites exactement Je cite, and you say, and I will ils expliquaient quote, comment faire le travail. Ils nous expliquaient que nous devions they travailler difficile, dur, je suppose, afin d'avoir un système d'irrigation. Ils nous expliquaient comment system. construire un barrage. Fin de citation. End of quote free translation. Donc quand vous avez so expliqué à mon confrère tout à l'heure que uh, colleague, uh, vous uh, pensiez que euh, le but de ce barrage c'était pour l'agriculture et pour avoir de l'eau pour l'agriculture est-ce que c'est en rapport avec ces explications qui vous ont été données ce jour-là the explanation that was given to us uh, is that the purpose of building uh, a canal was to irrigate the rice field, and that was the actual result of the canal Et construction. Effectivement, ce qui passé lorsque le canal a été construit. Est-ce que lors de cette and réunion, on vous a également donné des instructions techniques well, pour savoir comment euh, vous deviez fonctionner. Si j'ai bien compris, euh, vous-même, dans l'équipe que vous dirigiez, vous n'avez travaillé que sur le creusage de canal. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris? 
through C'est moi Lake, qui dirigeais the, uh, les canal. forces qui creusaient le canal. And I directly uh, supervised 20 workers. Je supervisais 20 for the other 80 workers, they were les divided into four groups. étaient divisés en quatre autres groupes. And we all uh, tried to work hard. Tous ensemble, nous nous efforcions de travailler très dur. Lors de cette réunion, vous expliquez meeting, le but du barrage. Est-ce que vous vous a a formé en quelque sorte ou donné des indications techniques pour savoir comment vous deviez creuser ce canal And in fact, uh, a land survey was conducted on the size of the canal, the depth, and the height of the embankment, and we simply followed the guidelines. Quelles étaient les personnes And qui vous euh, ont donné ces instructions Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Je ne Who were the commune committee that uh, provided us with instructions? J'ai compris également I que um, lorsque that, uh, vous creusiez ce canal, you were the canal vous, um, vous, étiez, uh, you vous dormiez sur place. Ma question site. est de savoir, so ah, puisque is, le principe de creuser un canal, c'est pas toujours au même endroit que vous deviez avancer au fur et à mesure hein, du creusement de ce canal, est-ce que euh, vous avez continué à toujours you, dormir au même endroit ou est-ce que au fur et à mesure que le canal avançait, vous aviez modifié along, votre lieu d'hébergement Allow me to uh, explain to you that we were given a set uh, distance of the canal where our group had to dig. For example, a 100 meter long canal was assigned to our group. And we have to. Complete the work quota, including the length of the canal, including the depth and the width of the canal. And we did not move our sleeping quarter as we had to complete this particular segment of the canal within the six month time period. Donc, si je comprends bien so votre réponse, pendant les six mois, well, vous êtes resté au même endroit. Months, parce que pendant ces six mois, vous vous êtes occupé de ces 100 mètres de canal. Est-ce que c'est bien ça que je dois comprendre de votre réponse Effectivement, c'est exact. Et... Je ne sais pas si cela m'a échappé dans votre déposition, mais à quelle distance est-ce que vous vous trouviez euh, de la partie du mur du barrage Parce que vous, vous étiez euh, affecté au creusement, au creusage du canal, mais il y avait des gens qui d'autres groupes qui étaient affectés, je suppose, au mur en lui-même du barrage. À quelle distance est-ce que vous vous trouviez de ce mur Et tu mesures la distance du site où nous travaillons et le barrage de l'endroit où nous nous trouvions. Nous étions à environ 500 mètres. Que to nous 700 mètres de la 
the dam. Du barrage. And other groups would remain the working groupes, at the assigned location by Onka. And we had to finish the work at the assigned location. Et uh, dites-moi si je me trompe, please, uh, vous avez évoqué avec uh, mon confrère le fait que le groupe de 100 personnes venant de votre village était uh, village, uh, divisé en 5 sous-groupes. Est-ce que uh, les autres groupes travaillaient sur d'autres parties uh, du canal ou c'était tout ce groupe-là, toutes les 100 personnes qui travaillaient sur les 100 mètres de canal que vous, avez, uh, que vous, vous dirigez personnellement Nous travaillons tous ensemble. Mais les ouvriers étaient divisés en sous-groupes. Et une fois que nous avons terminé notre segment du canal, nous passons à un autre segment. Et nous nous déplacions ensemble. Et... Uh, Est-il exact de dire que uh, pour des uh, groupes qui venaient d'autres villages, uh, ils travaillaient sur des segments différents oui, c'est exact. Different segments were assigned to different différents segments villages étaient confiés à différents villageois groups, ou à différents groupes de villageois. South, uh, the project of that segment was assigned to people or workers from sector 42 or from Chantan Lu and the people from sector 43 worked at the 6th January Dam construction site. Dans ces conditions, lorsque vous avez so, indiqué que euh, il vous arrivait d'échanger vos expériences avec d'autres chefs de groupe, est-ce que euh, nous sommes d'accord pour dire que c'est simplement avec les chefs de groupe qui venaient de votre village que vous échangiez, ou est-ce qu'il y avait des échanges avec d'autres chefs de groupe venant d'autres villages Nous pouvions observer les autres groupes nous Et nous pouvions également nous inspirer de ces conditions, les appliquer dans notre propre groupe. Ma question est de savoir, est-ce que vous avez discuté avec des chefs de groupe de ces uh, autres villages ou pas pour pouvoir comparer les conditions uh, de travail de vos travailleurs Non, Discuss uh, such a matter with uh, other groups. Nous pas de ces as I avec could not leave the, my own groups. Je ne en effet pas mon Donc est-il est est so, exact de dire que dans ces conditions vous étiez relativement autonome euh, selon les villages? Hein, Uh, ou selon les régions uh, uh, et selon les groupes group uh, auxquels vous apparteniez uh, au niveau de, du chantier de, du barrage du 1er janvier. Uh, Je ne sais pas. What I can say is that We were confident to achieve uh, the assignment that were given to us by Anka on the building and the completion of the dam construction. 
Vous avez évoqué euh, hier et encore aujourd'hui euh, la sécheresse qu'a qu connue la région entre, en 1976 et en 1977. Est-ce que vous pouvez euh, situer en termes de mois la période de la sécheresse de 1976 et celle de 1977 During 1977 vous avez indiqué que les travaux euh, du canal euh, ont débuté quelque part entre octobre et, et fin 76. Est-ce que euh, vous savez si euh, cette sécheresse que vous venez d'évoquer a été une des raisons qui ont conduit à la décision de la construction de euh, ce barrage I do not know about that. Uh, that would be the uh, plan or the intention of uh, Anka. What I know is that in October, the commune chief invited all the village chiefs to attend a meeting where he announced that Anka required us to build a canal from Long Chang Kieng, crossing Prey Srangha and Kapawi. And during the first year, the construction only reached Kapawi area. And That was the uh, information we uh, received uh, before we started digging the canal. And upon receiving uh, such information, we prepared ourselves uh, to be ready for canal digging. And of course, we were uh, enthusiastic in preparing ourselves to dig a canal so that we could uh, irrigate the rice field as at that time the drought hit us hard. Monsieur le Président, je vais uh, passer à une autre ligne de questionnement. Est-ce que c'est le moment approprié pour uh, faire la pause Would it be the appropriate time for the break bah, Le Président, President, uh, thank you. merci. It is now appropriate for our lunch break. We take a break and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite him back to the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take his employee to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings in this courtroom before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Thank you.